I lived in uh, Nashville for about 20 years, but uh, I grew up in this little town in Maine called South Berwick, Maine. In fact, uh, Slade Cleves is coming in a few weeks. Is that right? All right. And uh, uh, Slade Cleves and I grew up in the same little town, uh, in the same neighborhood in the same town, South Berwick, Maine. And uh, I got out of high school uh, early there. I was uh, starting to get into a little bit of trouble, not nothing major, but I think they were just sick of me and they wanted me to go. And they called me down to the office and they said, you know, Rod, you'll have enough credits to graduate and get out a year early. If you if you take seven classes next year, go back to gym class, take a night course, go to night school, take a correspondence course, driver's head, and just as a preventative measure, if you'll take a tattoo removal course right now, we'll call it done and you, go, and you can go. So I did. I took that deal. I thought that was a good deal. And I immediately moved in with my high school girlfriend uh, into a trailer park called Marshwood Mobile Estates. <laughs> I mean, it, sound, it, sound, it sounds good, right? <laughs> Who would do that? Uh, it was actually officially called Imperial Marshwood Mobile Estates. Because <laughs> they were getting above their raising. So we lasted about six months. We, we actually lived in number 13, Marshwood Estates. And uh, Marshwood was descriptive of the place. Estates was a bit of a stretch. I mean. mm -hmm. and, uh, so we lasted about six months, and, uh, and we split up. And uh, this is a story about us living in, the, in our little trailer park there. Um, we, uh, uh, I mean, I think six months is pretty good. For, you know, for a high school sweetheart, for most people, not for everybody, but you know, for, for most people, because you, you got to go out into the world and become, you know, worldly, and you got to have other lovers and have other experiences and stuff, and become a person who's worldly. And, and I can let you know that, that she did that, because we hooked up one more time a year later, and she was so worldly, she knew all kinds of stuff that she didn't know when we were together. And I was so proud of her. I was so proud. I gave her an A plus. She had studied hard. Some of the things were European even. I think. This is our story about Marshall Mobilistics. Well, we pulled up the carpet in the Noleon. We drank some beer, had some fun. Painted plastic made it look like wood It took all weekend but it looked pretty good No trees, no yard with a dog to bark Just a home dance at the trailer park Sixty-five long and ten feet wide With a metal roof and a metal on the side They don't really make like they should You can't hang a picture Cause the walls ain't good Gotta go outside And turn the hot water up And make some kind of Plastic cups Set out Catch all the rain I can't see They pour down the sand Set them out again Ain't it strange It's cold Strangest call over home. 
We got in a fight one summer day. She got in a dodge on me, drove away. I stayed for a while, but it wasn't the same. So I went to the mailbox and took down my name. I sold the train to a couple of kids who want me a place just like we did. Just a little something to call their own. It's cold.